What's up, my fellow actors? Kurt Yu here from ActingCareerCenter.com. In my previous video, I shared my 2021 audition statistics, and I was able to do that because I keep an audition log. In fact, I've been tracking my auditions in an audition log since 2009, so that's 13 years worth of audition tracking. I think it's a really good habit for actors to keep an audition log because you can really dive into the data and the statistics. Now, when you first get started, there's not really much to track, right? But over time, it becomes much more valuable. So if you are a newer actor, I think it's a good habit to start developing right away to start tracking your auditions. If you haven't been tracking your auditions and you've been acting for a while, why not start right now? In this video, I'm going to provide you with a template that you can either download or make a copy of so you can track your own auditions. Now, since we are talking about auditions, before we get to the audition log, if you haven't already downloaded my free 10-step audition preparation guide, you can get it from that link right up there in the corner. I call it my audition cheat sheet, and it's my 10-step audition preparation process that I've personally used to help me book over 50 movies and television shows. All right, let me share my screen right now and take a look at this free audition log template. Okay, here we are. This is my audition tracker template that you can download for free. I'll put the link down in the description of this video, okay? Now, the first thing I wanna mention is don't request edit access. On my resume template, people are always requesting edit access for that file. I don't want you to request edit, edit access for this exact file because this is the template that everybody is going to use. What you should do is make a copy of it so you can edit it for yourself, all right? So here's how you do it. You, If you use Google Spreadsheets or Google Drive, then you will just go down into File and click Make a Copy. And what this does is it will make a copy of this file into your own Google Drive. Now, if you don't use Google Drive and you would prefer to use Microsoft Excel instead, you can just go to File and Download and then download it as a Microsoft Excel document and it'll be the exact same thing. All right, now let's talk about what's going on in this audition tracker. This, I think, is a pretty basic audition tracker template. You can add your own columns or track things in a different way. Ultimately, this is an easy way to get started and as you start auditioning more and more, you can add your own uh, things that you want to track. Okay, so number one here, the first column is the date of the audition. The project uh, is next. And the next column is the project type. So project type is either TV show or feature film or short film, commercial training video. I have uh, all of these as just examples of what you could potentially put in here. And uh, the next column is role. So the name of the role. And the next column is role type. So for TV shows, you could either be a co-star, a guest star, a series regular, recurring, those type of things. For movies, it'll be either supporting or lead. For commercial, you could be a spokesperson, you could be a principal, you could be background. Normally, if you're background, you're not auditioning for it. But these are the types of things that you could put into role type. The audition source. So did it come from an agency? These are just made up agency names. Um, did it come from an agency or did you get it yourself off of let's say actors access or backstage? That's what I would put in an audition source column. The casting director, sometimes there's no casting director in which case I would just write NA. But if there is a casting director, you just put the name of the casting director in this column. The audition type, is it a self tape? Was it in person? Was it a live Zoom audition? These are things that you could put in this column. And then whether or not you got a callback, whether or not you booked it, and then whether or not you got paid for the ones that you did book. So, and then a uh, final column is just general notes that you can enter in for yourself. Now, you can add anything that you want to this tracker. Like I said in the beginning, I know some people that put what they wore for the audition. Eventually, the more you start doing this, you could put in the showrunners for the audition, the producers, the director, you could really track all kinds of things. But like I said, this is a good way to just get started so you have a basic audition tracker. And then once you copy and paste it to your own file, you can edit and change this however you want to add columns. Now, one thing that you could do, and I don't think I can do this here on the template, but let's go ahead and make a copy so that we can edit it. So we'll go to file, make a copy, and we'll use Google Sheets for this. 
uh, but you can do the same thing if you're downloading an Excel version. And we just click OK. And now we've made a copy and saved it into our own Google Drive. And now we can edit this file. And one of the things that you'll see is now you have these little filter icons right on each column and what they allow you to do is filter by the type of aud or the data in each column so if i want to look at all of the auditions that i booked i can go to this filter and click here and then see how there's check marks in, in both of these i only want to say uh, I only want to see the yeses, so I uncheck no and I click OK. And now I have filtered by all the auditions that I've booked. Now, we only have five or six rows here, so it's pretty easy to count the three auditions that I've booked. But let's say you've got a hundred of these. It's a lot harder to go in one by one and see how many you've booked. You can instead just filter and do it that way. Now let's do select all and we go back to all of these. You can also filter by let's say the casting director, right? So we'll go to filter and let's see we go and we want to look look at all of the ones that we auditioned for lion casting. We click OK and look here are all of those auditions that we auditioned for a specific casting director. So you can see how this can be really powerful in terms of tracking not just your total number of auditions or your total number of bookings, but you can also track how many times you audition for a certain casting director or a certain show or when you've auditioned, how many auditions you've gotten for co-stars or guest stars or series regulars or things like that. So like I said, Download this for free by going to the link down in the description of this YouTube video and then make a copy of it and start using it however you like. But if you are just getting started, I highly recommend you get in the habit of tracking your auditions. All right, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and I hope to see you on set one day.